Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys, you have engine light on and any of the following codes such as code P0075, 76 or 77. Any of those three codes guys, stay with us, we'll explain most likely what causes that guys. It could be multiple things of course, but we'll explain the most common ones that we usually check, okay, we diagnose and the ones that we see quite often here at the garage. So let's explain what it is and in most cases you may not even need to buy any parts so make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain what to do. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years, for instance they started using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016-17 depending on the market guys, uh, that's a 2.4 GDI engine. So. Before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the garage, guys, we take them completely apart and we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Also, guys, if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Specifically, this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel auto repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so what we usually look for guys okay we're going to remove the upper engine cover but before we do that let me tell you guys i forgot many of you ask me in the comment section below what computer we use for diagnostics and this is the one that we use the most guys i'll put the link in the description of the video below check it out if you're on the market for one it works on kia and almost any car you can think of guys so it's amazing too that can pay itself off in one time use so pull the upper engine cover make sure the bushings are still installed on the cover because if they come loose and they're stuck on the posts you will not be able to install the cover so you need to remove them from here and install them on the cover so later you can put the cover back on now those codes guys relate to the variable timing system variable timing solenoids a few things that can cause that guys let's explain that now this is the intake side okay on your engine okay the exhaust is on the back side okay right here that's the exhaust manifold the intake camshaft will be right here if you guys have problems guys with these codes most likely you have problems with the intake variable timing solenoid or it could be a mechanical problem but you just hope that's not the case that's not very common guys it could be such as jump timing or the gear that's not working correctly for the variable timing okay the camshaft sprocket uh, we have a video how to replace one if you need to guys but it involves more work in most cases you need to inspect the wiring harness you need to inspect that you don't have oil leaks from the valve covering that connector right here remove the connector and inspect everything and what else can cause that guys it could be a dirty or sticking solenoid or a solenoid that doesn't perform correctly or it's broken you will need to guys remove it so if you pull that pcv hose you can open quite a bit of space okay you just pull it and now right here with the torx 30 socket guys okay we're going to go ahead remove that bolt easily now that solenoid could be stuck guys so what we can do we can grab it with the pliers but grab on the metal part okay not on the plastic wiggle it a little bit left right and pull it out okay perfect now that solenoid guys is what most likely causes the cuts. let's say you okay even replace it with a new one wiring harness is good you still get that code okay uh, what i would recommend change your engine oil guys change the engine filter okay do a, even an oil flush with a leaky moly okay we have a leaky moly additive right there guys we have a special video that explains how powerful it is okay let me see if i can focus all the way from here okay it's uh, that additive okay right there and uh, uh if not guys it could be a malfunctioning okay sprockets on the variable timing gears now most of the times that solenoid you can clean it guys and by cleaning it it can resolve your issue nine out of ten times okay we fix that problem by cleaning the solenoid because if you have a sticking solenoid it will okay throw this code so we have a special video that explains how to clean a kia vvt solenoid on world mechanics check it out uh, we have helped guys okay We've, we have helped more than, uh, I believe, 60, 70 million people. So check it out and you will be able to see guys how to do that. Uh, putting it together practically is in reverse order. We took it apart. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.